I am constantly asked during streams, comments on videos and community posts, what is the fastest way to earn gold? How do I make money fast as a solo player? What should I do to make money in Sea of Thieves? So in today's video, I'll be running you through some of the best methods I have found for solo, duo and any other crew size to earn the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible. This video will contain three methods, one low risk method, one medium risk method, and one high risk method for those pirates with a higher PVP skill level. The first method is Ashen Gold Hoarder Vaults. As you could probably imagine, the only risk to this method is the volcanoes, which if you are struggling by the way, you can tell when they're gonna erupt as there are two different types of eruptions in the Devil's Roar. The first one is Earthquakes. These are harmless and spawn lots of geysers and shake the ground, and that's basically it. The second is the actual eruption of the volcano, which we want to avoid. You may be thinking, how do we know which one is which? Well, when the ground starts shaking, you can easily tell when it's going to erupt by looking at the volcano itself. If there is black smoke, this is an indicator to get back to your boat and sail away. If there is no black smoke, and the ground is just shaking, it's just earthquakes. Now that's covered, the best way I find of doing Devil's Raw Vaults, firstly is to own a captain ship. If not, this isn't the end of the world, it just helps you by letting you carry more voyages at once. Secondly, to raise the Gold Hoarder Emissary Flag, as we aren't going to be getting any other loot besides Gold Hoarder. The way you're going to want to do this is by stacking the keys until the compass takes you on or near the islands where the vaults actually are. These islands are Ashen Reaches and Flintlock. Keep stacking keys until you visit one of these islands by the compass taking you there. This way you can be more efficient and get more loot in one go, rather than sailing back and forth a lot more. If you want clarification on this method, I will leave a link in the description to a gold hoarder video where I cover how to get the loot from the vault more efficiently, as well as the best routes to take. The second method, the medium risk method, I will be talking about is the new easiest world event in the game, the Fort of the Damned. Thanks to Season 9, these forts are incredibly easy and with the right method can be done in just under 10 minutes per fort. Firstly though, you're going to want to find a server with an active skeleton fleet, grab yourself a Skull of Destiny voyage from either the shipwright or the pirate lord, then head over to the skeleton fleet. You're going to want to complete the skeleton fleet which should net you around 4 ritual skulls on top of the Skull of Destiny which you should do right after. You're going to want to pick up some tridents from the fleet as well. If you don't yet have the Skull of Destiny Voyage as you aren't Pirate Legend, then I'm sorry, but you are going to have to get the Six Flames of Fate the old fashioned way. Or follow my guide on becoming Pirate Legend fast. Once done, head over to the Fort of the Damned. You are essentially only going to be using the Skull of Destiny to light the beacons and skeletons that spawn, and use Ritual Skulls to ignite the fort. Thanks to the new changes, you're only ever going to see the same colour waves of skeletons and the only variation of that being skeleton captains which will use the tridents that you gathered on. Collect the kegs and place them in this wall by the left top of the slopes here. Look directly at the wall and drop the keg. This will allow it to be exploded but not picked back up by other players unless harpooned. You should find that getting through these waves is easy as skeletons only take a sword dash or pistol shot to kill. And make sure you are being careful to collect the kegs from the spawn skeletons including mega kegs. After using the skull of destiny to get through waves easily you should reach the boss fight. Lure grey marrow over to the keg wall and explode it. This will instantly one shot the boss allowing you to rinse and repeat. Obviously you can do this as whatever emissary you'd like, reapers will give you the most gold but you will obviously become a greater target to other players. One last tip, make sure you are burying the reapers chest so other crews don't know you are stacking. As well as this, place the loot from the vault on this barrel here and use the ritual skull to start the fort again. 
This will lock that loot in the vault, but does not let it despawn as it has been moved by yourself or other players. Finally, the last method, which I have used to get a lot of money, is Hourglass PvP. Now, I know some of you guys will completely turn your heads at this, but the way I try to keep it as low risk as possible is by doing a streak of two and then lowering. With Emissary Value, this nets you 72,000 coins each time you lower the Hourglass. It is risky, yes, and inconsistent, but if you're talented at PvP, get yourself onto Hourglass and start making a lot of money by fighting two ships and then lowering each time. These multipliers are affected from Golden Glory, so when it comes around to the next community day, give it a try and see how you get on. But I know a lot of you aren't going to like this method, but it just works for me. That's it for today's video. If you liked, leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Things I let go, floating on the way.